Hi, I'm Daniel Kwan. I'm Daniel Shiner. I'm Zach Stoltz. We directed and I visually affected everything everywhere all at once. Woo! Oh, first take. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's new movie is about a Chinese immigrant who finds herself in a sci-fi action film. We ended up having almost 500 visual effect shots, but we did that with mostly just five people, which is kind of unheard of. Uh, you look at any modern movie and you look at the visual effects credits and it's it just goes forever. We ended up doing a lot of music videos together where you know music videos have no budget and very tight turnarounds. You know, our film is an independent film. It's fairly low budget for the ambition of the script, and this was the only way that we could pull it off. It was so creatively fulfilling for us because we love to be in there in the weeds as well because um, that's just how we've always done things. Daniels used a combination of special effects and visual effects to achieve the look and feel of their new film. Special effects, their, their team is all about the practical effects, the on-set puppets. Visual effects is all in the computer. The movie had a lot of wire removal, and a lot of like simple secret hidden visual effects and then a couple sequences that are just full-blown visual effects craziness. Across the multiverse, I've seen thousands of Evelyns. So Evelyn has to zoom through a lot of universes to get to the desired one, which is a Kung Fu universe in which you can fight. We knew for a while that this sequence was going to be in the movie, so I actually got just like a little camera, like, like a little pocket camera that shoots 4K. And I just like everywhere I went, I would just kind of walk around and just film streets like this, this shot of New York was just me going through New York. The camera had like a shutter angle and shutter speed setting. So I just made it super blurry. The order of events is Dan shot a bunch of stock footage himself. We cut it together. Then yeah. we cut that together, acted it out ourselves to demonstrate it to Michelle. And she had to act, I think in slow motion. We tried different tempos. Then they placed Michelle in front of LED panels. You know how on the Star Wars shows, they have this massive LED screen that is like basically a good background. We had like the 99 cent store version of that. Three panels this way, three panels this way, and they're vaguely LEDs, like really, they're really big pixels, but enough that we could then send um, the video footage through these LED screens. They're very, very minimal. Um, and Michelle could sit in the middle and pretend to be flying through it. So we had these, these plates all linked together. And then what we did in visual effects was take it and say, okay, well, let's add Evelyn to this now. And, and what does it look like when we're actually going by that fast? What are some of the additional elements that we're gonna add? So we ended up toying around with a bunch of different streaks that we were doing, like anime style motion lines that were just barely perceptible, adding like some glass that would shatter when we went through and just adding as many things to it that made it feel like there was this extra energy to it without distracting too much from what she was actually doing and being able to see her actually going through this stuff. Now, let's look at how the Daniels did a practical effect. The first time Michelle Yeoh does a verse jump where she connects to another version of herself in a different universe is in an office place, in an office cubicle. She shoots back in her office chair and flies through a closet door. What's happening? And the fun thing about that shot is it's 100% practical in camera. We didn't change anything. We basically cranked open the shutter so you get these really nice streaks. And then we pushed her slowly through the office. She had to act, she was freaking out in slow motion. We had hidden a leaf blower behind her. Yeah. And so it's just her in slow-mo getting pushed on a wheelbarrow and then we just sped it up. And, and she's actually in the space flying right. backwards, which was fun to introduce verse jumping with something so practical. And with the practical effects came a lot of puppets, some more interesting than others. So Jason Hamer and the Hamer effects team uh, built our raccoon and our hot dog hands. They functioned like this, but they were um, made with super realistic uh, skin. And I think maybe had some hairs threaded in. Yeah. It was basically just a, a glove that the actresses could um, wear. Yeah, basically he molded our actress's hands and then he just stuck hot dogs where the fingers were and that's it. There's oh. something about things like that being 100% practical that just makes shooting it so fun and and makes it so much easier because you the actors know exactly what they're reacting to and they can play. We didn't have to have someone act opposite a tennis ball for the raccoon or act like they had weird fingers. They just had them, you know? It's such a gift to ourselves and the whole crew. The core thing that we all realize as we're doing visual effects on the Daniels film is that it really does need to stay grounded in what is going on in the story. The visual effects should never 
overtake that. Like there are moments when we have big visual effects stuff going on. Like there's something so charming about Michel Gondry's work, which we love. And we were like, we don't want this to be a movie where there's waves of blue energy like coming off of everybody as they punch each other. Like this is decidedly not that yeah. genre. Um, we and wanted it, to celebrate the magic of just like editing of a jump cut of something popping and being something different. Yeah, it goes back to like, you know, one of the first sci-fi movies, A Trip to the Moon. And that's what they did. Mm -hmm. Just mash cuts and then smoke. Mm -hmm. So simple. We're just doing that but with like cheating because we have After Effects. That's the only yeah. difference. It really is all about the story. Yeah. 500 visual effects shots done with five guys in their bedrooms uh, during the pandemic. And you watch the movie and they're not perfect and they're not going for realism, but they work and they're beautiful and I'm very proud of them because they have their own unique style. We need to be encouraging uh, other independent, independent filmmakers to uh, understand this language um, because this is how all movies are going to be made now is like there's always going to be some element of visual effects even when you can't tell because the technology has, has become so um, easy and effortless to use. Thank you.